The Storied Life of A.J. Frickery by Gabrielle Zevin. Frickery runs a bookstore called Island Books, a small independent bookshop on Alice Island. Think Martha's Vineyard, for example. Fickery's wife died several years before in a car accident on the island, and A.J. has been in a funk ever since. He's disheartened by the fact that sales at his offbeat bookshop are steadily declining. His most prized possession, a rare copy of Edgar Allan Poe's Tamerlane, which was valued at $400,000, gets stolen from his apartment above the bookstore. Then, one day, he goes out for a run and returns to find someone has come into the unlocked bookstore. But instead of stealing something, they have left something. A baby. Fickery knows that he is in no fit state to raise a child, but when no parents come forward uh, or are identified, he tries to raise the baby. He names the girl Maya, and she is transformative. Folks begin flocking back to the bookstore to try and help his efforts at single parenting. Author Gabrielle Zevin draws a number of complicated characters here in this novel. Uh, Fickery's best friend is the chief of police on the relatively crime-free island. His brother-in-law is a former best-selling author with nothing more to offer. The literary world yet continues to ride his waning popularity. And Maya grows from a baby into a somewhat insecure adolescent who loves working the shop and assisting in bookstore events. The novel leans slightly towards romance, both between women and men, as well as between people and books. Two of the major questions in the novel, what happened to AJ's copy of Tamerlane and who left Maya in the bookstore, are wrapped up very neatly by the end of the story. However, not all the storylines end quite so nicely. Give this book to anyone who loves wandering around bookstores searching for the newest great read. They'll easily relate to the characters who inhabit this idealistic world where a small, quirky, independent bookstore can still draw a community together.